fucking Deku. <laughs> Holy shit. What up? Stream beat started on a different song. No way. Than, yeah. Guys, it's a whole new world. <laughs> is, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> <laughs> what Hello. is up? Hello. Josh, you're back. I'm here. I am Josh here. is I'm back. Am I looking the right way? Where? Yeah. Right, yeah, there you go. Yep. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Left, right, who cares? Oh. <laughs> Oh, He's finally back from working on his super cool uh, the, the uh, short yeah. film or whatever. No, I'm gonna post the link of it in the Discord. <clears throat> Exclamation point Discord. Um, you guys can see some of <laughs> some of the the last season of this weird little film. It's pretty shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but they it. got a grant this time because it's like a heritage thing, like can Canada's heritage. Oh. Well, so you can... don't. Well, you don't want to get dig too deep into that heritage recently. I but, know. Uh, you know, all the dead bodies I under know, a school. Me. Yeah, it's fine. Jesus under yeah. a few schools now. They oh, found is, some it, is there more than one? Yeah, they found more. But, 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 uh... <laughs> all the way back to 96, by the way. Oh, Not 1896, yeah. but 1996. Only, only like 20 years ago. Yeah, wild. Go Catholics. Cool. <laughs> anyway, 30 years ago, whatever the fuck the number is. Um, but yeah, I'm here today, so we're going to have a fun time. We're going to oh, be reviewing God. things. We're going to be breakdowning everywhere breaking down downing breaks uh, let us know in the comments yep. Good one. Are, are all of us gonna survive with no internet issues today what's this yeah, stay even, tuned to find I out mean, you you already had a technology poltergeist this morning cody oh i know my bowl so, died <laughs> so, i've had it for so long come on internet i mean maybe if we just Put the chat a million emotes of dancing Kirby. We can get through this shit today. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Yeah, heard dude. If first. that becomes our Ninja Turtle, then I'm down. That's right. Right on. I love dancing Kirby. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, but you know anyways, what? let's get into it. Uh, do we housekeep? Well, uh, housekeep now. Hey, like it, subscribe it, bell it. Yeah, what yeah. is it? What is it? What are we? The doing? pages. The YouTube let's... page. You might be watching this on later. Ooh. The Twitch yeah. page. You're watching it on probably right now. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. uh, join the Discord, all that other fun stuff. You've you've yeah. seen shows. Yep, we'll um, be adding channel points soon. Obviously, bits and subs are enabled, so get that shit going, you fuckers. And then, <laughs> um, and uh, I'm really happy with like the turnout lately. In the last couple of shows, we've been our, our averages are up, which is great. And that's all thanks to you, chat. It's all thanks to you. We don't do yes. anything. You show up, and that's why. Now give us the fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> JK, hang out. Let's listen to some music today. Uh, once we get our, you know, more chat interactives, it's going to be super fun for y'all. Um, we're planning that. We got to do a whiteboard still, and it's going to be super fun. Yeah. But every time we like get on here, I'm like, oh yeah, we need to do stuff, and then we get I off and everything gone. We forget. Yeah. Yeah, because we all got to go to work and do stupid shit that we don't want to do. <laughs> yeah, we'd rather just be here doing this right. stupid shit. I know. Uh, all day is um, day yeah i'll do this stupid shit i don't want to do other stupid shit <laughs> yeah. um but yeah so keep an eye out for that join our discord talk about it interact with us and we'll build a show for everyone mm -hmm. and you too can see how josh ran into a gas station yeah it's yeah. on there i posted it you can look at it it's a good sure. time yeah. <laughs> i like how <laughs> when you posted that too you you didn't say that it was you you're just like oh yeah look at <laughs> Some dumbass is fucking yeah. I took a picture of it. You should have known better, Brett. You should have known. I had hopes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, let's um get into the show today. Um, let's get into it. Yes. So, a couple okay. things. Who wants to start? Who wants to start? I oh. didn't have news. I okay. okay. I I'll start then. Hey, Go remember the zombie two EP? Um. Huh? It's uh, it, it ranked uh, seven point one six on our wall of mosh. It uh, sure did. Well, uh, the song, the single "Forlorn" from it, has now won uh, Revolver Magazine's best song of the year so far. Um, so it's good that the boys they... are getting some recognition. I don't know, cause they got nothing else to do for content, Brett. 
<laughs> know where you're going with it. I don't know. June, so far, like, yeah. <laughs> wait till the end of the year for head. I, yeah. I mean, it's like halfway mark, right? We're in, we're in, we're in June. June. Hey. hey. It's, yeah, it's like the geez. rest of the year they don't release music, you know. Oh, it's a whole dollar. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know about all that. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> but, but sure, it's, it's cool. a decent song, I guess. Cool, cool, cool for them, yeah, Sparta. I, I mean, for good for them. I don't know if I agree with it. Uh, so I, uh, I think I've heard a few better songs since. I this, think you so. know, perhaps. You know. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh, for, yeah, maybe for the genre. The I don't know. Maybe for the, the genre. coming in. It's making me go, Ugh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my Money. goodness. Sweet oh my goodness. shit. Dude, we almost got a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, making just it rain. Making oh, you're making it rain. Making it rain. Ah. Um, there it is. There's a the nickel. Um, so we, we, we all know Limb Biscuit going on tour with uh, one spirit box, by the way. Don't know why. We forgot about um, that. So yeah. Listen, on, on the I Twitter all post, that I, I posted a, a tweet for, you know, uh, this upcoming show. And I was like, Limp Biscuit's still a thing? Question mark. Like, that was like, on today's show. Because, um, like, why? What is happening? Fred Durst, what are you doing? God well, damn. Is he not Wasn't... gone, like, full tremper by now? Uh, yeah, to him. I was expecting I I expect him to be, no, like, I, th I think he's canceled. been pretty reserved. Really? Yeah? Yeah. I know, I know he has a TikTok channel. I know he's doing that. Uh, I've seen him sometimes, and then I blocked it. Uh, I don't want everyone to see it. Dude, yeah. Apparently, Fred Durst is actually a really nice guy. Uh, I don't give a People I, I, I've gone through have met him. Well, according to your, you know, little bit of news here. Yeah, he's a perfectionist, Josh, okay? okay we all get I don't that know. way. Uh, Wes Borland, the guitarist, uh, has said Limp Bizkit can't finish their new album because it is not up to Fred Durst's standards. I don't know how high those standards are for Limp Biscuit, but <laughs> yeah, like what? Uh, they <laughs> they have made 35 songs instrumentally all the way through, and Durst has done vocals for all of them and thrown them away multiple times. It's literally the Mermaider episode of Death Clock, but with Limp Biscuit. <laughs> you should have thrown away like, the other songs you had too. <laughs> okay hey now. Uh, I agree. <laughs> hey now. There, there's better new metal out there, Cody. I, <laughs> okay. there, listen, is, I know. there definitely is. Um, there's listen, better to whatever me, the fuck that is, too. To me, uh, Limbiscuit is uh, it ended after Chocolate Starfish because you can't get higher than that. That's just peak. Mm. That's a 10. Okay. I still don't understand why Chocolate they're going to the Spirit Box. The Spirit Box thing. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Are they on the same label or something? Like, did they accidentally get paired up together? Like, what's going on here? Because <laughs> I don't know. If I went to go see Spirit Box and Limp Bizkit performed after, I'd be pretty happy with that day. That'd be fun. It's just fun. It's like Fast you, and the Furious, dude. It's just fun. You and five gonna, other people, though. <laughs> it's gonna be you the weirdest. The I know. Weirdest I know. Crowd big, but like, why? Listen, there's why? gonna be a, a weird half and half of this crowd, right? Spirit Box people. Then they're gonna bounce when they're done playing. And then it's just going to be all in biscuit. But then yeah, there's a lot of crossover. Listen, remember how excited we were when we saw Crystal Lake's cover of Roland? Roland is like Limp Bizkit's worst song. <laughs> yeah, we were but hyped it was for Crystal that Lake, shit. So it was yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I only listened to it because it's Crystal Lake. Otherwise, I would never turn that on. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated to you, Ben Silly. You're all my favorite motherfucker. <laughs> that's how. That's how this next song after Roland starts on Chocolate Starfish. Limp Bizkit is one Trump. My generation away from being fucking Kid Rock. And that's what. That's yeah, that's, that's why. Insane. Like I'm thoroughly shocked that he hasn't just gone full cancel culture shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, maybe he's not that bad of a dude. So <laughs> he just he's makes right dumb music. I know. Just makes dumb <laughs> music and then throws it away. Said. I've all, yeah, I've always said <laughs> the music part of Limp Bizkit's always been my favorite bit bet between the drummer and the bassist. They they make that whole band, uh, but Fred Durst is just super. It's it's guilty pleasure shit. I'll take your word for it, Cody. Yeah, okay. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next bit of news. Get the all fuck right. out of there. <laughs> and who's ready to be sad? All right, as is tradition. As well, he's not tradition. dead yet. He's not dead yet. <laughs> oh God. But, but, um, unfortunately, Mark Hoppus, the bassist of Blink-182 and Plus 44, um, and he others. has cancer and other bands that he's done. 
but he has cancer. He's apparently he's been fighting cancer for like three months. Um, he was looking kind of sickly a little bit. Do we know, know what kind of cancer? Sick. No, he, he didn't no? say. Okay. No, just been dealing with it for the last three months and shit. Yeah, that's that's tough, man. That's it is sad. Yeah, he, did, didn't he say he's actually like he's actually scared? Mm-hmm. I mean, who but, wouldn't be scared? I don't know. Yeah. But uh, hopefully he pulls through. Um, he has money, so he probably will. Um, <laughs> depending depending on how bad. It's, it's 2021, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Anybody could die. That's true. Even then, the we'll rich be people. having another one of these talking about it. Which I'll tell you be, what, like, huge shocker. I'll tell you what, I uh, I did Adam's song for karaoke uh -huh. after you know the news dropped and all that stuff. Because sure. I wanted to do a Merc song, and that's gonna be real hard to listen to once he's gone. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's like even if you don't Ooh. love Blink One Eighty Two, and obviously they're not. I like them, and they did a lot for like our growth as musicians and people in the alt scene, right? Um, you don't have to love them to appreciate what they did to the music scene. And I feel like they're just like royalty at this point, just like mm -hmm. the Green Days with the Sub Forty Ones, you know. But, oh well, with Metallica, because you don't. I mean, I don't like Metallica at all, but I, you know, I sure. recognize what they did for metal. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I think that's, that's smart. Yeah, I I do I like I like Blink Green Day too. I would they were never like they weren't I I liked Green Day better. Yeah, you know I was on that side of the of the coin, but I do like them. You know I the self title is still one of my favorite albums like ever. Oh, same. Like that's a damn same. good album. <laughs> like, yep, one uh, of my favorites. Yeah, it'll, 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 yeah, it'll, that'll suck. So, I am yeah, I do we'll, hope uh, though. I will say this just to kind of make things a little lighter for the moment. Travis Barker needs to calm the fuck down. He's in everything. <laughs> He's doing everything. He's in every goddamn piece of music is out there right now. That dude needs to stop. Like, Did y'all see that break, meme I, I, I posted in the Discord where it's Buzz Lightyear? It's like featuring Travis Barker. Then it's, you know, the I Isle of just Buzz Lightyear's. And all it is. Oh, you did too? <laughs> yeah, we both posted it. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe I got it from you. I don't know, man. I, <laughs> dude, I saw. It right I think I saw it in the Rooster Teeth. <laughs> that's where. That's where I got it. Okay. Um, yeah, I saw. I saw. I saw it a few times. I was like, okay, this is funny. <laughs> yeah, I agree. He's he's a little all over the place. Um, um it's all the same. It's all the same. It's all. He's not even, that, that, he's not even that great of a drummer, to be honest. With you, but hot take. Whatever. He's better than me, so I can't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, jo next Beck's bit of news. Josh, go with yours uh, first, because sure. Brett, uh, can you pull up uh, these Pure Noise Lo-Fi compilations? I okay. want us to listen to at least one of them. Um, listen to the on Spotify um, or on yeah, YouTube? Yeah, it's, it's on here. Yeah, YouTube. On. YouTube. Okay, either either one's fine. I know they put up the whole album Pure Noise. Yeah, yeah I just uh, if if chat will be able to watch or not. True. Um, yeah. But yeah, so this bit of news that I found today, I was scrolling through apparently did they, they did this last week or two weeks ago it was motion motionless and white um did something called a dead stream Ooh. and guess where they could do a, a, a concert just with them right not like a, a, a venue not an arena not in a recording studio not a but bridge I, like dance gavin dance right not a cool bridge right no fucking penhurst <laughs> asylum Oh fuck so yeah! They, they went I remember that asylum. from Ghost Adventures. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they did a, a, a an asylum concert. Nice, <laughs> just them and their weird gothic cells. Hell yeah! <laughs> um, I will say that I've been listening to them recently because their 2010 album is so metalcore. Like, it's just something about it. It's like, uh, wow, I I, I don't really mind like them. It. It's it's either metalcore or Breaking Benjamin. It's like. Yeah, it's okay. very similar. It's just when you look at them, it's like, God, these guys are corny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, just don't. Yeah, <laughs> you know? just, I the saw them. Music's with, good. Though. I saw them within this moment. I was dragged to, you know, that show because someone I knew wanted to go see them and they needed a ride, so I got to go and they paid for my tickets. But nice. Motionless nice. and White was definitely the highlight of the whole night. Yeah, they're and heavy. Uh, really heavy. They were really good. Yeah, uh, Chris was, yeah. Chris was wearing uh, a lightning jersey, nice. um, the whole show, oh, and this nice. was before they were winning all the time, um. Shout out to the the finals. Hey, yep, uh, yep. Fuck the Islanders. Yeah, see, and yeah. um, <laughs> listen, I'll jump right into this bandwagon. Okay, it's the finals. I can I could be a Lightning fan 
like and pay attention for a week. Also, it seems yeah, that right. no one on social media is actually other than people from Tampa are supporting them. So, yep, they got our support. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, sure. underdogs. Anywho, <laughs> uh, met, I met him after that show, and he was really nice. He's yeah. also a big him fan, just like me. Yep. He, he he always says, and you said the thing about Breaking Benjamin. Um, they're from the same town. Oh, really? Um, yeah, nah. Scranton, Pennsylvania, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, <laughs> same little area. And basically, they Motionless and White, like when they were starting a band, were going to see Breaking Benjamin locally. It was like, you know, I want to be a band now. So that, jo- Josh, you remember cool. um, when we were trying to find New Breaking Benjamin? Like, we're, this way back in the day. Yep. And we found that clip, and we we're like, "Oh, this is New Breaking Benjamin. This is New Breaking Benjamin." And it yeah. turned out it was actually Motionless and White. <laughs> yeah, it was like a like a bootleg recording of a Motionless and White song that sounded exactly like, like Diary of Jane, but new. And yeah. it was like, "What's yeah. going on here?" And it makes a lot of sense why <laughs> on why they sound that similar because they come from the same area. Of course, Chris is um, influenced by Ben, you yeah. know. So like, it's yeah. just really cool to see that happen. Um, so I. As corny as they are, I think they definitely belong in the pantheon of like metalcore. They're definitely oh, absolutely. Penhurst Asylum. Where is this? Uh, it's definitely Pennsylvania. Somewhere. Yeah, it's in PA, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So well, it's called Penhurst. So. Yeah, yeah. So it's in Spring City. Is that where uh, Motionless and White and them are from? They're from Scranton. Well, that's near it. Is that's it? in the area where Scranton is. Yeah. Yeah. So, like they went to like Jen's high school, like way no before. Shit. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Crazy. We we went to Under Oath High School. They uh, Jen went to Motion Oath High School. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. Perfect. Sick. They um, did metal metal shows in the cafeteria. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is up third period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're All coming right. to you live from Miss uh, Miss Brooks's class. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go trigonometry too. <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, right. so I thought that was really neat um, that they put on it in the asylum. It just yeah, that's probably probably a pretty cool. decent live stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to check that out after after the show. Um, all right, so last bit of news here um, for Mams. Uh, this is the Pure Noise Lo-Fi Comp. Did you pull yeah. it up? So yep. <coughs> while oh, I was eight. streaming, uh, making this beautiful boy right here. Look at him. Look at him. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. He's a little, his wings come out. It's, you know, it's a little flimsy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm chilling. Listen to my beats and I get a little notification on my phone for videos on YouTube. And I'm like, what the fuck? What is this? Yeah. Lo- Pure Noise put out a whole compilation collab album. Yeah. Of there's their um, songs with lo-fi beats on. Yeah. There's uh four year strong has a track. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. Hawthorne Heights has a track. Mm-hmm. The story so far has a track. It's super cool. There's a lot of the, cool stuff in here. There's a Amity lot of Affliction. cool things. Are you listening to now, chat? This is Amity Afflictions. So I, being bleak. I love this song. It's a really good song. Actually, I had I had this exact song uh, playing for a pre-show. Nice. You did. Yeah. I like these guys. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, I want to hear what they do for like the drums and stuff here. Comes. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a sick beat. Hell yeah. Sick. Oh, I <laughs> That's love cool. It's so good. <laughs> this is like perfect to to obviously chill to or do homework to, as they would say. Yes. Um I really like the Hawthorne Heights one. That the was, Hawthorne Heights one's really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the cat. So chill. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Like, even with like the snow and stuff, I'm like, this is. This so I feel good, good right now. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Good it's nice. I'll play the can't swim one next. Oh, can't sw- can't swim has one. It's for stranger too. I this is this is a good yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, Michael oh, Sitchell was lo- lo-fied. <laughs> yeah, Michael Sitchell plays in this band. Sure does. We know him. We know him. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh, that's good. That's nice. Until the oh. fucking chorus hits. The chorus hits. High pitched uh, little piano part there. Oh, that's good, dude. I love that. It's <laughs> so good. I think everything needs to be lo-fied now. <laughs> that's what I was saying on the stream. I was like, this is what this is what all these record labels should do for the DMCA stuff. Just take your artists, lo-fi them, boom. Profit. Yep. So good. Profit. Yeah, the Hawthorne. I love the Hawthorne. High or, school. you know, just let us stream it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just quit being bitches. Ooh. Got the got the truly strawberry lemonades. Oh. I ordered Twisted Teas from H E B and they gave me uh Dizzy's. Oh, okay. That's not the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean they they tasted better than I was expecting them to. There's actually flavor. Oh, Pog. That was cool. I'll never buy them ever again, but you know, that was cool. Not enough. Way too much. Ooh. This puts me in the mood for winter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, ma it makes me miss snow. So great. Yeah. But real snow, not whatever fucking hell that I had for a week. <laughs> <laughs> One person thumbs this down. What a bitch. I know. Fuck that. All right. All right. Cunt. Moving on. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead. Download listen all to that whole album. All like albums. Spotify, yep. Yeah. Spotify is place. Yeah. And if you need a chill playlist, do I have my uh Oh, do you guys see that right there? What's that? What? Hinakami Chronicles Demon Slayer. Oh, it's the game. So mm. yeah, the video game. Yeah. Oh, well, you guys want okay. want to listen to a whole chilled playlist beat? I can give you Right here, it's my chilled playlist beat. Mm -hmm. Playlist beat. I don't know what I'm saying. Words. There you go. Beats playlist. Yeah, there you go. All right. All right. Chill beats to chill too while eating chili. Yeah, let's get through some of these announcements and then we'll jump into some tunes, chat. Yes, well, we got to jump into some album discussions and then some tunes. Oh, yes. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes, right. yes, yes. That's the order. All mm -hmm. right. So, Dude. between the berry to me announced that they have a new album coming out august 20th it's the sequel to colors it's called colors 2. <gasps> uh, so um i'm kind of weird in this you know i think people love that band a lot <laughs> i am not that big of a fan of them to be honest with you i can see why you're not into the the crazy weird stuff normally mm, yeah. and they are a crazy weird band yeah yes. like i i they're a band that i obviously did a lot for the scene right so like i appreciate them for inspiring other bands to make music but like i just i saw them me. i didn't like them until i saw them with the uh, dream theater mm -hmm. and uh, opeth back in the day it's just you have to when especially when you see them live all the shit they're doing yeah it's wild i, I mean especially yeah, when, great you, you know yeah, mm. you come from music background too. It's for music nerds, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's fair. Yeah. Not listening to them on, on on albums, it's it's a bit rough. It's not for everybody. I, right. I get. Yeah, it. and it's definitely something like if I do click on it, like boy, do I have to be in the mood. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, yeah, hell for me, not you know, something I go out of my way for. I, I I I like to tend to pay attention to lyrics a whole lot. And when you look up the lyrics to the songs, it's real hard to keep track of what's being done because not everything that's written down is what's being performed. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know the, I don't know the deal with that. <laughs> Always been that way. Uh, I'm just like, is that what it's supposed to be? And he just, all right, we're yeah. All right. Like I remember trying to learn the lyrics to "Ants of the Sky," and I'm like, where are oh, we? Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, but we got the new song that they uh, they put out with uh, with the announcement. It's not a video. We're gonna break the rules for a little bit because, yeah. especially on the on the track, there are four drummers on this bitch. When's the last time you heard of a song with four different drummers having a part on this on one song? Okay. You got Portnoy, you got Blake from Between the Bear and Me, duh, and then two other people whose names I forgot and I'll look up later. Hell yeah! There we go journalism <laughs> um speaking of of tracks we have on our breaking down the breakdowns playlist um 
that don't have a real video. The next bit of news here, announcement, War of Ages released a surprise yeah, track. Yeah, I, I don't give a shit. We're listening yeah, to it. Yeah, neither do I. We're going to listen to it. It's not going <laughs> to move or do anything. It might, like, do some flames in the background. We'll, we'll <laughs> laugh like, at comments. Right. Yes. We're, um, the track is is decent from what I've heard from the beginning. Um, very, very good. It kind of going back to like the alpha days. So Brett, mm. you're gonna you're gonna dig it oh, a lot. Yeah. Um, Void was cool. Album. Void was cool, but like this is it's going back to the good stuff. Still Jesusy, all right. Uh, um, but there's also no new no word on like when the album's coming out. Um, so we'll see if the rest of the album fits with this uh, style. I'm super about it. I'm glad it's kind of pushing back to that like standard metalcore kind of stuff um and then uh last little bit of news here we talked about ice last week as well but they're putting out a third japanese no, album no josh you talked about twice last week <laughs> I, I saw you googling at the waifus so I oh yeah I, yeah I mean you can't help it um but they're putting out an album it's gonna be all japanese kur kur is on this one right so that was their yeah. single for it so that's a really cool kur -kur. thing kur -kur. Really, is that a song kur -kur. we listen to it means that's a song that's on the playlist no shit. Yeah, you threw it on. Yeah. It was good. Everybody liked it. You even it was, liked it. It was, it was, it was the one it. with, um, uh, yeah, you, we did. It was the one with uh, the crazy frog uh, chorus. <laughs> it went ring, ding, 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 ding. No, I do no, not no, remember no. this. <laughs> no, that was Itzy. That was different. Oh, that was Itzy. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's also the next one. <laughs> uh, Kur is, uh, I think the first one of Twice that we actually watched. And you guys oh, okay. Like, Hell yeah. Um, but anyway, right, I think out. we're just blinded by waifus. I was going to say, yeah, did I just see waifus? And... Remember, there's fucking, fucking nine of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I can feel on the side of my of limit. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, the third Japanese, full Japanese album, July 28th. That's coming out. Um, so if you like K-pop, I guess this would be J-pop, I guess. I don't know how they classify it. It's the same shit. I don't either. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, what's this next release? Cody? Um... So the only thing that's coming out this Friday on the second uh, that we care about, uh, Born of Osiris, Angels or Alien, their new album, uh, mm -hmm. dropping on Friday. It may or may not be the topic of discussion next week. We'll find out after this next segment, which is the album Rochambeau Show, where Ooh. we go through between the three of us and we decide each week with a mm -hmm. surprise album for for us to review for the next show yeah. uh this week was brett's choice and he Hello. chose four years strong's 2020 release brain pain i sure did right brett uh since it was your pick i'll let you take it away to start us off uh, um, real quick chat chat if yes. you're wondering why why we're jumping into a 2020 album i don't know if you guys remembered but like the pandemic was a thing right <laughs> Right, so I don't think this this album, are we collectively don't think it it got the recognition it deserved, and no, also there was like nothing that. else coming out, <laughs> so we decided yeah, well, we decided know. to choose something, you know, you know, that we could listen to, and this is we, we like to play it fast and loose here at Geek Republic Media. Yeah, yeah. We're like, should we just keep it to twenty twenty one albums or just do whatever, and we decided to just do it's, whatever forehead, so whatever we, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we have a grading scale this time, so... Yes, we have but dialed did, in the grading scale. I did my very best to uh, make sure I gave it a fair score. And mm -hmm. it came out to the exact same uh, number that I was actually thinking of if I was just to give it a rating. Is there math involved with this? Do I have to average something? Well, yeah. What, how, do you, how do I do it? You, you, this is like mean you get mode. 1 through 10, and then if it's an 8, you go 8 divide by 10. That's your fucking answer. <laughs> Josh, come on. <laughs> you were a teacher. <laughs> you add of some... English. Shakespeare. I didn't listen, even know math. Listen, back there's, then. there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six fucking little sections, so it's out okay. of 60. You add up the fucking ones you get. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh my God. Fuck it up he did. He oh. did fail math a couple of times. <laughs> I, I did. Wow. Many a times. Yeah. Your sister with the call out. Wow. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, the fact that my little sister was helping me with algebra stuff when I was in college is sad. I, <laughs> but it's, I, it is I remember what it is. watching that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So like we said, this album came out last year. Uh, it's their seventh studio album. It was released on uh, February 28th. It was... Uh, their show here in Tampa was the day that it got everything got shut down. I know it because I was supposed to go. I think it was them and Silver Scene. Still upset. Still don't know. I know they just announced new show dates. I don't know if my ticket. Because everybody announced new show dates. They should be. Re- they should be. Re- I hope. I should hope so. I should they, find they, out. Because they spent your fucking money if they didn't give it back. Mm, anywho, yeah. uh, it was produced <laughs> by Will Putney, who is the other guitarist from Fit for an Autopsy, not Tim, who is on Twitch. Um, he also recently produced another album, a bit controversial, called uh, "You're Welcome" by Dater Member. This same yeah, guy. That's, this For same guy. Bit. He's also believe. produced a bunch of other stuff, but that was like the most notable one. Uh, I'm at least still recently. going to blame that on Fueled by Ramen, and I don't care. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> hey, listen, producer can only do so much. You can only you do know, so Jeremy much. Jeremy McKinnon goes in there and says, hey, I want to sing 75, 75, 75. <laughs> uh, there's only... He, he's listen, he's he had the to face get his, of the band. He had to get his fuck you money. Yeah, All right? fuck you no. money. I don't know yeah. if that's working out for him or not. That's how um, fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing uh, Will Putney has done of uh, <laughs> interesting note, uh, he mixed the second Gym Class Heroes album as Cruel uh, School Children. Oh, he was okay. a mixer for that one. So, you know, he's been album. around. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very good album. Uh, unfortunately, though, J- Josh, you said you alluded to that um, because of the pandemic, uh, this album didn't really quite get the recognition it probably deserved because it literally dropped as everything as, was happening. Yeah. yeah like, that, right. is, that is the week things were going down. Super um, sad. It only peaked at 175 on the Billboard 200. But... 93 on the Scottish albums chart. Ooh. Hell oh. yeah. Yeah, because, because yeah, the Scottish like, know what's people up, in Boston. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Bunch of Boston boys. Come on now. Um, so in revisiting yeah, right. this, uh Brett, how'd you feel about it? Oh, uh, dude, I I think I listened to it good three or four times just on the first day. <laughs> I just had to keep going. I was like, I love this album. It's um I mean, we definitely listened to it when it came out, but mm-hmm. it quickly came off the radar. You know, it's, it just it didn't stick around because because of what was going on, everything was just happening at once, and music kind of took a backseat for a little while. And uh, so it's, it was really to nice die. to yeah, exa- exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, it was really, it was nice to revisit and like remember and be like, oh yeah, this is really good. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just four years strong, mm-hmm. you know, it's, I think they, uh, this, the last album is they really figured themselves out and who, who they are as a band and they just keep going with it. They're just, you know, it's, they're maturing. The, the, I will say the writing is definitely getting better. They used to just write about really dumb shit. It's, it's kind of like Devil's Prado, like the old stuff. Don't, don't look at the lyrics. Just don't do it. You know, new stuff. Sure. You know, sure. You could do that. But yeah, it's I had I don't know. I had a really good time. There's a lot of um uh, nostalgia that comes up with this. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why. It just I just kinda of feel nostalgic when I'm listening to it. But yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I um I felt like the the wall of sound was so like they had to have included more guitars than just those two, right? Like I feel like there was like they doubled themselves like the, the mm-hmm. sound quality was so fat mm-hmm. <laughs> like I, like i could hear the bass bass was a huge point in this uh album um bass guitar and usually in a pop punk band that's, that's it doesn't even thing. exist yeah. yeah right like but it mattered here because it did a lot of stuff during the verses so like the the full composition of the writing um allowed the bass guitar to hold some stuff um but then the other guitars maybe copied it in rhythm, but not right away. So it layered in. And then the lead guitar definitely had its own thing that wasn't just, you know, there for shits and giggles. Like it all kind of was perfectly aligned up. I really enjoyed that. And the drummer's just. Wow. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. He is so fucking good. Fantastic drummer. Um, I will say, though, I've always had an issue with Four Year Strong's lyrics. They're not the best. No, they're not. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not the that best. That was their weakest thing for. They're, they're super cheesy a lot of the time. They rhyme 
when they don't need to. <laughs> but like, it's it's. I get it, it's a pop punk band and that's the thing they do. But like, even on this album, you feel that way. Yeah, there's hmm, some of it. Some yeah. of it in the beginning of the better than before. Like, they definitely have their story better now lyrically. Mm. Um, but there still is some corniness to it that is like I don't. You don't need to rhyme you with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, there's just stuff like that that's kind of annoying to me. Um, go a little deeper, uh, writing wise, but I think that that was my on our grading scale. That was my lowest section was lyrics, um, but everything else was seven plus. Just, like they were all above. Like I didn't dip below. So nice. I think it was a, a solid, solid album. Um, so you're giving it some sevens then, huh? I am giving it some sevens. We'll, we'll get um, into the, the 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 ratings at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed that. Like I said, production value, great. They're all great musicians. They're definitely getting better at guitar. Some of those mm-hmm. riffs are fucking awesome. Oh, Dude. yeah. Um, there's some sporadicness that I think doesn't help the song. Like I, But that might just be a personal thing. Like I just wanted to chug more or I wanted to like groove more. And they're not really about that. They, yeah. they just make riffs. And that's t- okay for their type of music. Um, but I can still follow it because it is 4-4 and it's fucking punk, right? So, like, at least doesn't go into, like, this weird techie realm um, when they do that weird timing that they do with a lot of their guitar work. Mm-hmm. It still sits on the 4, which is followable. And then um, Variety, they do have fast songs, they have heavy songs, and they got nice, oh, this is kind of ballady songs. So they're definitely mm-hmm. all kind of pushing there. Um, and, of course, they're consistent as a band. They've always been. I don't think they've they don't make bad music it's just parts of their music aren't always 100 percent, in my opinion um but definitely i like this album i think this is their best one so far you know what uh, i tend to agree and uh I-, I was gonna like that this is by far my favorite uh for your strong album uh i think over a year on it still holds up very well um my it, it, it's perfect for driving uh brett you, you would agree like oh, yeah. this album this you throw it on music. for a drive you'll be in your destination in 42 minutes and yeah. not even notice it yep like <laughs> it just flies by the one thing i had an issue with um was the way that they put out all their singles for this album all the singles are on the a side so i know that the first half and i listened to those songs all the time Mm. so when i was going back and listening to it i knew the first half of this album so well yeah except for chill pills and um the whole second half of the album was like oh i don't remember this at all like so i could have used the singles more spread out throughout the album maybe and it would have had a little bit more lasting effect um um but that that was that was my lowest uh score was was just because of that if you know we had one of the like seventeen or um, what was the other song I really like? Use usefully seven. useless. Yeah, seventeen is incredibly good. If one of those were a single, that probably it was seventeen been... not a single. No. no, and I'm discovering this with pop punk bands. They mm-hmm. put out like the first single they put out rips, right? And then the next few singles are just like, well, why'd you choose those? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like those are good songs, but they don't belong as the as a the thing that's trying to get well. you to buy the fucking album, like it. They need to be they They work well in the composition of the of the entire album, but yep. they're not good as by themselves songs. Um, then I felt that a little bit with the singles because there's better songs on the album. Honestly, though, that's part of why I actually I'm going to disagree with both of y'all and say the last album was my favorite album still. Oh, uh, yeah, the, you the love that album. last album. I it's it's. What you're talking about right now is like you're saying, you know, these songs, there's not necessarily they're not good for uh, like a single listen just by themselves. The last so album, I think you're talking about, right? yeah, well, yeah. I'm not even I'm not even saying that they're not good for a single listen. I'm just saying I just don't know them as well because the singles are all in the front. Right. Mm. Right. But I don't know. Like, I just feel like overall, um, I think oh, every song could stand on its own better That's than, fair. than this one could. We'll have to okay. listen to that one eventually, chat. Um, so before we get into rankings, we could do a little fun, cool thing since we have the album right here mm-hmm. in my hand. 
we can we can admire it like that album artwork it's on the screen but let's just hold it up like i say you're dude, holding it above it so it's actually kind of cool it's so cool <laughs> it's so cool every like the little details in this i remember when we saw the um the the album artwork release way back when as soon as i saw it i was like oh we're pre i'm pre-ordering this bitch right now oh yeah and i did <laughs> chad i did it um also fun fact uh talking to myself in circles that was we watched that music video when it came out brett on the very first iteration of this show that we had in this room yep um and i remember not liking it at first and then by the end of it i was like oh this is amazing this is great this is so good uh and i i think that was like our first episode it was like I, uh, it was, it was definitely, our second yeah uh because we hadn't figured uh, out what to do with watch just so long ago there was nothing on other than the albums on the wall yeah nothing nothing there. uh but we can just admire this vinyl right now oh, oh so look yeah it looks cool it's so pretty nice little half and half Lo it's a fantastic album um so um yeah go brett start with you go around the room what are your rankings uh my 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 official ranking uh out of 10 came out to 8.25 oh okay oh okay are you gonna go down the list or you're just staying at the, at the final number oh that was my final number i mean I already kind of talked about it. We all we all hit the points. Yeah, we kind of went down our list. Okay. <laughs> well, my uh, final number is seven point six six. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah, seven point six six. Oh wow, I uh, I graded this one high. Um, so my final, my overall was uh, a nine point three eight. Damn. Oh, so fuck. I, so I really like the lyrics on this one, I, especially compared to their older stuff. Because I agree, the lyrics hasn't always been the best. But they're actually talking about stuff now. It's not, you know, it's not a plus, Con but for content, them, content wise, yes, yeah. great. Um, I really love how like it's cool starts out with, hey, life's just it, it's perfect for the pandemic because it's all about just life passing you by in a you know in a blink and not really feeling part of the Bo Burnham stuff, not really feeling <laughs> a part of this world. Uh brain pain also talking yeah. to myself in circles. There's a lot of mental health related lyrics in this album sure. i really like that yeah, i think um brain pain would have fit so well in the last album yeah like god dude that intro is so fucking cool it really oh, is. i love it i love it i remember so i remember when the guitar play through video came out because i thought we watched that on like two episodes later yeah <laughs> and we i was just floored i was like what the fuck are they doing this is awesome this is not well, the same format you're strong i remember well, with um it's cool like it's the opening track of the album mm -hmm. and it, it kind of throws you off a little bit because it feels like just like one of those intro songs right where it's just like you know they're gonna do a little bit of lyrics you know some decent you know ambiance and then we're gonna get into the next track and we're gonna hit it but if you wait till the end of that fucking oh, it's song brutal. It the rips. end of that song is insane oh my god it rips and it's dude like, it's so cool that there tells are... you how the rest of the album is gonna be like there are so it's many cool too. moments um on the show usefully useless i said earlier like that's a fun riff yeah um okay, so favorite song of of the album um mine's brain pain mine's brain pain too mine's 17. nice 17. that's a good I, one 17 really stuck like my 17. head a lot mm -hmm. um those are my two yeah i, I thought the that. production was uh, production and musicianship tens for me yeah okay I yeah. yeah, Josh, what you're saying spot on. This wall of sound that's that yeah. has. Yeah. I I did a Great. I did a ten and a nine there. Yeah. Like, and those and, those and are, musicianship oh, like yeah. like they're so it's, good. It's so good. Yeah. Um, I gave it. I gave those nines only because I I agree with the wall of sound. I think it could have been um. They're they're the way that they're produced. You have to have a good, in a like a good sound system. You know, just because the like the, the way it's the That's way it's true. all mixed. So if you have like just okay speakers or like just anything okay. kind of interfering, too fat, too fat. It's yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. it's way out of balance. Yeah, um, they're definitely quick. not playing in drop D. Oh no, no, they're it's way yeah. Too fat. yeah. Uh, what was y'all's um, ratings again? Just so I could get the average. I forgot to put it in the calculator. Mine was uh, eight point two five. 
eight, 8.25. And Josh? 7.66. 7.66. Okay, so before I get the uh, the average real fast, um, around the net, the reviews that came in, Kerrang! gave it an 8. Uh, All Music has it as an 8. Wall of Sound, the Australian website, has it as a 9 out of 10. Distorted oh, Sound Magazine, 8 out of 10. KillYourStereo.com, 7.5. And Dead Press, 9 out of 10, giving it uh, an average score of an 8.25. However, <laughs> our average for Brain Pain is an 8.43. And it nice. wins. Nice. And it wins. I believe, if I'm it not is... mistaken, that is the top of the list now. It yeah. sure is. Um, yeah, I think if it wasn't for my... It could have just been like bad taste in my mouth from over the years of like the lyric, you know, like structurally, that probably pulled my score down just a little too much because it was obviously it's above 7.5 right so it's it could be rounded up to an eight it's definitely there it can't, yeah opinion. no i i i respect i respect the the seven though and i get it and like i yeah. said i still think that the last album was better overall yeah okay you know it's it was good it was a little sporadic as far as the layout of the of the album goes you know which is a part of the issue of having all the so the singles at the front it's not a good sign that was really that was the like, again my one detractor yeah. was that I didn't know the second half of this album as well as I do the first and yeah. I know the first half of this album really well. Yeah, there's yeah there's no single there's six, right? And the only the only track that is not a single in the first half is number three Crazy Pills. Everything yeah. else came out with a video and a single. Oh god, seventeen would have been perfect. Mouthful of dirt. Yeah, good seventeen too. would have been. Dude, the whole album's really good. Yeah, it's, it's a like, really good album. Just change up what we, or just the placement, change the placement up. <laughs> you know, of the of the whole yeah. album as a whole. Mm -hmm. You could you they could have gone without "Learn to Love the Lie" as a single and made seventeen or use usefully useless as a single. Yeah. The other ones I'm fine. I really love the music video for "Get Out of My Head." Yeah, it's a cool video. Yeah, that is a cool one. What's the one where he's like working at a gas uh, at a coffee shop? You remember that part? Was that a, was the uh, that was for brain pain, and they all get like yeah, the yeah. the signal in their ears to come play yeah. a show again. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good video. Yeah, that is on that. the breakdown <laughs> playlist because we really like that video and we watched yeah, yeah. it while we were doing this. Hey, because mm -hmm. it came out really late for this album. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so for next week, it is my choice. It is. It is your choice for another album breakdown, and we actually have something current because we're gonna get some releases this week. Um. And we actually listened to uh, two or three of their singles so far, but Bor "Born of Osiris" has. I think it was only one. I think yeah, I think, I think it was, it was one. no, it was "White Nile" and then the one that's like in the "White desert. Nile." You're right. Yeah, it's the title track, "Angel or Alien." Oh, yeah, okay. that. you're right. So we really like them. I and I used to hate them. I say it's this is honestly a surprise that you're picking this. The the fact that I feel some sort of like weird metalcore 20 yeah. 2009 thing. I, I feel it in there and I want to listen to the rest and see if it fits the bill. So we're putting that one on the list for next week. So it's going to be a heavy fucking album review. Hell yeah. For next week. So get ready for nice. it. All right. You it. heard it here first. Um, So next week, Born of Osiris, Angel or Alien. Uh, YouTube, that's where we're going to leave you guys right now. Um, Since we can't listen to music videos on YouTube's platform or else, you know, we're paying people money we don't even make. Yeah. Uh, so make sure you like, <laughs> make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell, all that, all that, all that jazz. If you like it, hey, spread it. You know, spread it like a really good virus. You know, podcasts live and die on word of mouth. That's what they always say. At least yeah. in all the Rooster Teeth shows I listen to. L listen, if Twitch had an ability to sh instantly share, we wouldn't be dealing with this shit. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, Twitch user experience. Say, there, is a, there is uh, a button. Now there is a button that says share, and it does go somewhere. It's just yeah, we don't know where it goes, and we don't know what it's just, sending. Listen, I could just copy the link <laughs> if that's the case. It needs to integrate and embed, and we don't have to be dealing with this shit. Yep. Sure. But anyway, you too. Well, that's your issue. See if you want to watch the show live, check out our Twitch, Twitch.tv. Yeah, yeah slash geek underscore republic Dollar. where we do the show live every sunday from two to whenever uh guys we uh, where are we at with maybe doing this show a little bit earlier next week since it is the fourth of july and we have america stuff uh, uh 
Listen, I... we ended up sitting around for like an hour and a half before the show. We, yeah. we were. Yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can do whatever the fuck we want to do. Also, I I ain't doing shit next week. Yeah. It's right. another well, fucking we'll fi- Sunday for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. Listen, while you're eating your hot dogs and fucking shooting shit into the air, put on our podcast. Okay. And be like, yeah, those those three white guys with beards have good opinions on music. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun time. And we also have other shows every Tuesday. The boys above, uh, or actually on the side of me now. <laughs> um, they do an yeah. anime show on Tuesday, which I'm going to be joining eventually when we get into our new season. Uh, anime recaps, we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff there. And then on Thursdays, of course, we have our Germ News podcast, which is just all the geeky and nerdy shit that you need to know for the week. Uh, uh-huh. So join that, hang out with us all the time. But for YouTube, fuck off. We're leaving. Goodbye. All right, heard it here first. Fuck <laughs> off, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. On that bombshell. <laughs>